seven uh, years old male, uh, 21 kilogram in weight. He was asymptomatic and referred for evaluation of systolic murmur. On physical examination, uh, two out of six systolic ejection murmur was uh, noticed at upper left sternal border and the uh, uh, second heart sound fixed uh, splitting. The ECG shows sinus rhythm with first degree AV block. Uh, and on transthoracic echocardiography, uh, right heart uh, structures dilated, and uh, we noticed second ASD on, uh, with left right shunt, and the two diameter of the defect, the 2D diameter of the defect is 19.6, and with color flow, the diameter of the defect is uh, 22.5, and uh, the septum measured uh, 41 millimeter. Uh, the IVC we uh, evaluated uh, as floppy. These are the transthoracic images. Our intended intervention is a transcatheter closure of ASD with T guidance. Okay. The, the patient has a large uh, defect yes. and deficient uh, posterior rim. It's about deficient deficient deficient deficient deficient deficient deficient deficient deficient deficient small, not uh, deficient, floppy, floppy. not very deficient. Uh, yeah, small, and a floppy inferior rim. Uh, uh, we performed a, a balloon sizing stop flow technique. And, do you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, we can. Ah, okay. Uh, this is the recorded uh, pictures of the echo. And uh, you, you here you can see there's good size rims, but the inferior rim is a little bit floppy and tiny. Uh, and the, ho the defect actually measured about 19 millimeter with 2D. And with colored Doppler, we got about 20 millimeter or 21 millimeter. Uh, when they did a, a balloon... Uh, can, can you show us all the views? Uh, so okay. at the moment we're seeing the 55 degrees, so very quickly if he shows the four chamber and the bi-cable views. Okay. Maybe we can just make some... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's either live echo oh, yeah. or live echo. Okay, that's the zero degree. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. That's 90 oh, degree. Cable. Yeah. Okay, so the IBC rim is a little small. S s small and floppy. In yeah. yeah. <coughs> and the defect is about 20 on that view. Okay, yeah. so That's after the echocardiogram. Sen tamam size bir şey. Real değil mi şey? Yok değil. Osman, after the, after the TOE assessment, uh, you said you'd done balloon sizing. Exactly. Can you show the, this is the balloon sizing on echo. We got about 20 millimeter by echo, but that's not maybe, a, that, ne, that may not be a very correct measurement actually. Okay. So if you look at the flora. Okay. Here you see that the inferior rim is not really making a good indentation. As you know, it's much floppy. So the measurement here is about 90 millimeter. And then they did another measurement with a little bit of a stretching of the balloon, and they got up to 20 millimeter or 21 millimeter with the, uh, with the balloon sizing on flora. So here we decided to go for a 22 millimeter cocoon device. OK, just hold it there for a second. If you could give a microphone. To uh, Mario, yes, yeah. Mario first. Sure. So, stretch diameter 1920. You've seen the uh, echo images. 
uh, what device and what type yeah, would you use? It's a gesture. I think uh, taking into account the floppiness of the procedure wing. I'm not sure whether it's floppy or But I think a 22 millimeter device would be reasonable. Reasonable. Joe? Yeah. Yeah. Um, as far as I know, the cocoon is a bit softer. So maybe if you're using a cocoon, you should use a 24. Uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, Felix? Good old. Good old. 24. Regardless uh, of uh, the <laughs> company, uh, what <laughs> are you seeing, uh, especially to with like regard so. to the yeah. sloppiness yeah. of the posterior rim, and uh, in this situation, I would not fear the oversizing because uh, due to the floppiness of the posterior rim, not yeah, well, uh, yeah, the aortic root, they or I should not fear uh, uh, the the the the the the Okay, so, so balloon, the balloon sizing was 20, so you'd go 24. Okay. Oops. İçine çekemiyor musun? Çekmiyor. Şeklin şeklin benim şeklin şey var değil işte. Şimdi bak bakayım. Hah tamam tamam. Alalım bunu. Sen çıkart dışarı onu. Cihazı çıkart. Sonra gaydın üzerinden de şeyi çıkartın abi. Değiştirin bir büyük şeyte geçin. Ben de kullanıyorum 24 için aynı sebeple ki Joe mentioned. Çünkü bu kakun farklı bir şeyde bir şeyde bir şeyde. All right, so um, suggestions here have been mostly 24 if you're using the cocoon. Uh, I've used a small number of cocoons and they are softer, uh, so you tend to have to uh, oversize a little bit more than you would normally. Okay. All right, what we... What does that mean, they are softer? Well, it's... They're softer than... Yeah. <laughs> It's slightly softer rather than very soft. It, the, it's the wiring technology which is slightly thinner and um, uh, different. So if you uh, put the same size of the amplatzer in your hand with the uh, cocoon, uh, the discs have less sort of rigidity compared to the amplatzer. And that American who has uh, good experience with the cocoon, he told me, for example, for the PDA, He takes sometimes the 22'yi açtığımız için bir, bir şans verelim istiyorsanız 22'ye sure öyle diyelim. Sonra so gerekirse yeah. deriz ki biz 24'ü deneyeceğiz. Siz o arada devam edin. Yeah. Okay. So um, Osman. Yeah. Yeah. What, what have you decided yeah. to do? Yeah. We see some we, we, we, First we first we do, uh, decided to use a uh, uh, 22 device. Yeah. Uh, but uh, in uh, some uh, attempts Uh, we cannot uh, put uh, device on proper position uh, and uh, there is some um, problem with uh, sheet and uh, now we uh, change sheet with uh, larger one. Uh, what size sheet? Uh, it's now it, it's uh, 10 French when we uh, change it to 11 French. Okay. There was a problem uh, trying to pull the, pull back the device into the yeah. sheet, so you just got one, one French up. That's always a potential problem, so it's far better to upsize the sheet. Why is that the recommendation right. or the need for using cocoons? Devices. It's, it's, Because it's, it's, the 22mm device will fit into an 8 or 9 French for a plaza. You're going to use a 12 or 11 for. Yes, yes, there's some. Uh, It, uh, some larger uh, sizes is yeah. recommended necessary yeah. for cocoon device. Even for an amplatzer, I would upsize yes. by at least one, maybe two French more than the company recommends. In cases where you finish up having to retrieve the device and then reposition it, it's much easier if there's a little bit more space there. <coughs> So if you have talks to, to continue, maybe okay. we can get we can come back to you later after okay, we finish so the. Okay. So once you've got your sheet in place, if you could uh, come yes. back to us, let us yes. know, and then we rejoin you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yes, we can hear you. Okay. Hear so tell us uh, what you've done. Yes. Uh, uh, first, uh, we try to put 22 device uh, um, and. Uh, Kemal uh, achieved, uh, but uh, during the Minnesota maneuver, uh, the device uh, came back, and then we uh, changed our uh, device to 24, uh, and uh, it's uh, finished.
Right yeah, yeah, with right pulmonary vein hmm. technique. Yalım sen. Yeah. And this is still a cocoon, is it? Yes, cocoon. Yeah. 24. Uh, small posterior rim and uh, floppy uh, inferior rim. Did you uh, acquire any images of the fluoroscopy when you were delivering? Uh, yeah. Var mı? Bu şu ama şey var mı delivery sırasında yok. This is obviously the end result uh -huh. we're seeing uh -huh. on the TOE. Açtığımız çektik mi? Açtığımız da yok şeydi. Var var var. Olabilir. Ne? Şu herhalde olabilir bilmiyorum. No, not this one. Tamam, bir sonraki. Before that. Bir önceki. Önce yok. No, no, we, I, I think we don't we, have. We pull all the uh, left this in the, the uh, uh, right pulmonary vein, then quick deploy the right side and pull a little back. Then the left this comes to the. Okay. Uh, All right. Let's focus on the TOE in that case. Um, okay. Uh, the device looks in a good we position. Make, make the, the TOE bigger. Echo big. Hey. Okay. Okay. Here you can see the device. Yeah. Uh, actually, if you have time, we can show you the the device, the 22 device. What? We, why we have decided? Okay. Just, uh, but just before you do that, okay. if you could show us the three views: the four chamber, okay. bike cable, and the short axis on TOE, and then we can have a look at the device. Okay. Okay. okay this is the four chamber view. So again, looks uh, looks like a good position on the four chamber view. Yeah, there is no significant AV valve regurgitation. Yeah. Next. Okay. And now we have the. Aortic position, the yeah. short axis, and here it's the aortic. Uh, the, the left atrial disc moves a little bit. With, you know, it's like a little bit. Move, this this this movement was a little bit worrisome for us, but I think yes. you guys are not worried about it. And there is no residual and, shunt through that. And color movement. on that. Um, yeah. Yeah. There you are. Thank you. So there's no flow through that. No flow through that. So that was some relieving for us. Okay. And we'll go for the by cable. Down, all right. Okay, that's the by cable view. And on this, if you show um, color again. We chose guess Uh yeah, Felix wants the color scale d drop down to say 60 or something. Hmm. Okay. And then push. The, if you could show us the IVC. Chuck, what's the difference between cocoon and uh, you know and blood cell or other? I, I, I, I, we, we don't know this difference. Uh, it's a it's a slightly thinner wire. Other than it, it's a nitinol device. The same. Um, they'll show us in a minute. But is it the one that's coated so it doesn't cause like thrombogenic or something like uh, that? Yes, that's right, it's coated. Uh, but it's, um, it's a nano platinum uh, coating on this, I think, if you remember. Uh, but uh, uh, more importantly, because of the thinner wires, it's a softer device, so you have to oversize it a bit. Thank you. Okay, so now if so you could show us the device that you've got um, tr okay. outside the heart. Cihaz alabilir, alabilir miyiz o çıkartıldığımız 12 device'ı? 22 numara cihazı geri alalım. O çıkardım. Ha, 22 device. Şimdi şey yapsana, eski şey yapsana. So, um, yeah, if we could move away from the echo and if you could show Şimdi us the şey, device pictures. E, buraya fokus edeceğiz. Echo'yu çek. Ha. Aşağıya koyabilirsin Echo'yu. Bu nereye gitmiş ya? Amerika'ya mı gitti hemen? Uçtu mu? Orada mı? <gülüyor> Şu büyük ekranda şey, doktor beyleri göstereceksin. Ekoyu küçüğe alıyoruz. Ver, ver. Ver. 
Olsun, olsun, olsun tamam ben de steril değilim artık tamam. Kemal ben sterilimi bozuyorum. Are you looking for the device now? Yes, yeah. we, we find the device now. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. oh you found it? Yes. So it was obviously not in the heart. <laughs> oh, yep, focus on... Yeah, so um, it's got the hubs on the left atrial side and a screw on the right, so it's very similar to the Amplatzer. Mohangisi. There we go. And it's coated device, um, so it reduces the nickel uh, leaching. Okay. Ah, Keep your hands still. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else, um, Osman? Before we move away from you, we're slightly behind. Oh, uh, thank you. It's uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. Thank you very much. Um, that was a nice demonstration of you need a bigger device than normal for this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Okay. Thank you for disconnect the cathode lab and then go.